Good day, fellow Titans, Hunters, and Warlocks. My name is Telerik, and welcome to Atlas and Armory, a Destiny Crucible Guide. Now, the most common question I get from other players is, Hey, Telerik, I got this gun. Is it any good? Here's a short little guide to see if I can help you answer that question. Now remember when looking at any primary weapon, keep in mind that the weapon is going to fall into one of three or four archetypes based on rate of fire and impact. That's your starting point for the type of weapon you just got, and from there we move into whether base stats and perks make this a good weapon or a piece of junk. For this video we are going to focus on pulse rifles. To be honest, pulse rifles are some of the most varied weapon types in all of Destiny. There are tons of options available throughout the game and getting a great pulse rifle is a bit of a balancing act. For starters, there isn't one base stat you want to maximize. There is two, stability and then range, in that order. You're going to want the stability to be as high as possible, but be wary of sacrificing too much range to make this happen. The weapon type is designed for the mid-range precision game, so it's a fine line between too much or too little with these weapons. But, let's buckle down and see if we can't crack the code. For starters, let's work on getting your weapon's stability and range just right. And to make that happen, let's look for the following perks. Number one, perfect balance, A+. Plus. Two, injection mold is an A. Hammer forged, A. Rifled barrel, A. Hand laid stock, A-. Minus. Small bores, an A-. Minus. And counterbalance is a B, but... I will say this is an A plus for Hake pulse rifles. Okay, I have a side note here that may throw you for a loop, but hang with me a second. In Destiny, the variety of pulse rifles is so high, you need to pay attention to the manufacturer type of pulse rifle you're getting your hands on before deciding its base range and stability perks are good or bad. I say this because with some manufacturers you can get multiple great perk combos and other manufacturers need, you need to look for just one perk. Hockey pulse rifles need counterbalance before any other perk, but with Cerro's pulse rifles you can get perfect balance with rifle barrel, don't even worry about counterbalance, and you've got the perfect combo that can't be beat. It's a bit of a puzzle game. This simply requires you to think about what you have in your hands, so keep your eyes open. So, let's say you've got a good pulse rifle with nice range and stability. What should we do about optics? Well, again, the options vary depending on the manufacturer. For some pulse rifles, I use a red dot. For others, I use a hollow projector sight. And on others, it's an iron sight. So honestly, Try out each optic on the weapon and use the one you find most comfortable. Using the one that's easiest on your eyes and allows you to stay on your target is probably your best bet, and it's pretty much that simple. Phew! Okay, let's dig into the good stuff. Perks you want to have on your weapon that make it shine, and here's the options. Head Seeker A+, Hidden Hand A+, Outlaw A+, Range Finder A+, Feeding Frenzy is an A, Glass Half Full, A minus, Full Auto is a B plus, Life Support is a B, Third Eye is a B, Spray and Play, B, Unflinching Army of One and Grenadier all get a B minus, and then Crowd Control, Eye of the Storm, and Partial Refund all get Cs. If this list hasn't clued you in yet, there are tons of options for your Pulse Rifle. As always, I didn't list every single perk but the ones I left out get low grades. I highly recommend perks that will maximize shots to an opponent's head, in this case, Head Seeker and Hidden Hand. Both of my favorite pulse rifles have these perks, and combined with solid stability, they make a rapid dent in enemy helmets. The other top tier perks here are to help maximize range, damage, and reload. Remember, the pulse rifle is a medium range weapon designed for rapid precision kills. So look for perk combos that boost the rifle in its intended role. As always, I hope you found this guide helpful. And if you want to see more videos like this one, hit the like button and subscribe. 
My name is Telerk, and as always, I hope to see you in the Crucible.